Well, good morning, kids. Good morning, saints in the congregation. Great to see you today. Uh, I love board games, and I want to show you some of my collection. You ready? Let's watch. This is my game closet. Well, at least one of them. I have quite a variety of different board games, as you can see here. Uh, some of them are two-player games. Some of them go as high as eight or ten-player games. Um, there's quite a variety of styles as well. Like, there's even one based on power grids, right? Um, there's just so many different types of games that I have in my collection. And I have a lot in my collection, as you can see here. Um, quite the variety of games. I mean, you never know what you're going to be feeling like wanting to play, right? Some of these I have played quite a few times. Others I've played a few times. And we're going to move over to the collection I have in my living room, which is where more of my newer acquired games are. And some of these are my favorites that I play quite frequently. And others of them are on my need to play list. I have a number of groups of people that I get together throughout the month to play uh, board games with. And like I said, some of them I can play, many of them I can play uh, by myself in a solo mode. And here's one of my groups of people I play with. You may recognize a few of the faces. Uh, we get together at least once a month to play a game together. And um, this is what we were playing this, this past week. You know, as fun as it is to play board games by myself, and I play a lot of board games by myself, it's even more fun when you play with your friends. There's something about being together in community and joking around and trying to beat your friends and just having a great time. You know, there's a story in the Bible that we're reading today in church and Jesus was in a very difficult time. He spends a lot of time praying by himself. All throughout the Bible, you can read stories, at least the New Testament of Jesus going off and praying by himself. And he really liked that. But on this particular night, it was a very difficult night for him, and he didn't want to be by himself. So he brought some of his friends, Peter, James, and John, and they went to this garden, and they prayed. And it was very important for Jesus to have his friends there with him, because sometimes things are just better when you're with your friends. So I'm grateful for my friends in my life. I hope you're grateful for your friends. They are truly a gift from God. Let us pray. God, we give you thanks for the many blessings that you give us in life, for those activities that we enjoy doing, like playing board games or whatever it may be. But most importantly, we thank you for our friends, for the people that are there when we go through some difficult times, the ups and the downs of people we laugh with and have fun with, sometimes even cry with. I thank you for the friends that you've blessed me with and for the friends at each of these young and not so young people of faith have his friends as well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. See you next week. Well, hi, Hope.